Libra, welcome to your weekly tarot reading. This one is for December 18th through to the 24th. So let's jump in and see what's on the cards, Libra. Now, if you wouldn't mind hitting the like button if you do enjoy this video and uh, subscribing to my channel as well, becoming part of this community. Uh, that's what really supports me in this work here. And only 25% of regular viewers are subscribed. So that would be amazing. It would really help me in my purpose work here. And it just makes me uh, easier for me to read for you as well. There are some links down below. The first one being to my website, should you want to arrange a personal reading or healing, that is available. There's also my tarot course. I have a freebie for learning tarot as well, all linked down there. You can explore that. Your 2024 yearly tarot reading is live here on my channel, Libra. You'll find the playlist uh, on my channel page and you can jump in and see what next year may have in store for you. I'm starting with a major arcana and maybe, just maybe, it's going to uh, involve some change, maybe some profound significant change with the Wheel of Fortune coming through. I mean, it, it's the Jupiter energy, so it can come in fast. It can bring unexpected shifts. Generally, the Wheel of Fortune is an expansion energy. Like, it really wants to bring, you know, positive expansion and change to your life. Like, a bit of a, a fortune shift. It wants to align you to your destiny point. So, the Wheel of Fortune is often a new cycle opening. The Wheel of Fortune is always turning in your life, Libra. The question is, are you ready to catch a ride with it? Well, the new year really is a perfect time to consider, you know, the changes that you might need to make in your life. Let's go to the Divine Abundance Oracle before we get the spread out. Oh, guidance. That's pretty much the star energy of this tarot deck, right? Where I feel like you're getting some kind of divine guidance. You might be getting an intuition or instinct as to the direction that you want to sail in in 2024. This one says, when you make divine intelligence your foundation, you finally have a fixed star to follow. So it's asking you to follow that divine guidance, to follow that intuition. Maybe that is how your ships come in. So beautiful energy of change, but powerful change that's leading you to your destiny point. Let's get the cards out, Libra. Four cards from the right away. I will then clarify them as I go. Okay, three of pentacles. Oh, the world, gorgeous. That's the last major arcana, Libra, that comes after final judgment. And it talks about, you know, profoundly moving into uh, a new cycle, right? The Wheel of Fortune wants to shift you there as well. Queen of Pentacles in the advice, and I have the Seven of Wands in the outcome. I mean, with the, the Pentacles energies coming through, I feel like this is potentially around work, career, finance for you, and I think there's going to be change in that area. The Three of Pentacles really asks you to come back to, you know, what are you building here in that area? What are your goals for your work career? What are your financial goals? And is change required to expand in that area so that you can, you know, meet those hopes, dreams and wishes? Let's get the clarifier out for that. Yeah, the Page of Cups is here. I actually feel that if you seek, there is a new opportunity coming through for you. Again, the Page of Cups has an unexpected or, you know, surprise element to it. For some of you, you might, you know, there's possibility that you get, you know, headhunted through LinkedIn or something like that. But I'm a generally a believer that we need to open the door. We need to at least have our hand on the door handle and then the universe will open it for us. So that would be if you find yourself at the time of this reading thinking, yeah, maybe change is what I need in work career and it feels like a natural time to do it with the year coming to a close. Have a look online. There's still time. You know, there's still time for recruitment this year. So the Page of Cups wants to bring you the Ace of Cups, an opportunity that fills your cup. What do you need to fill your cup with when it comes to work career is an opportunity that pays you more so you can, you know, reach your house and home goals, Queen of Pentacles. Is it something where you can expand your skills, that you can level up maybe into leadership, teen leadership, supervisor? Because the Three of Pentacles talks about 
a new team forming or you joining uh, a team here and if so I feel like it's almost like a smaller more intimate environment where you can be nurtured where you can learn where you can maybe you know shadow the you know the your manager or it feels like an environment where you can really get the learning and development that I think you desire so the challenge is the world because it's a big move isn't it even considering that type of change but I feel that change is in the air and it's only one powerful judgment call away where you might find yourself the star following a new fixed star okay wow so that, that's very much what we were tuning into with guidance so the star is a card of destiny and wanting to align you to that destiny but like I've mentioned we need to work with that energy by seeking by searching there's also this energy of vulnerably putting yourself out there maybe in the recruitment process maybe extending your reach a little further having the confidence the capability to do that you know that's the energy that I'm seeing here so the world really wants to open a whole new profound cycle for you and it could be that there's something that you've always wanted to you know like an industry you've always wanted to work in you know with the page of cups it could be something more creative or something a little bit different or at least a change of direction from you know where you are and the message is what are you waiting for the time is now the wheel of fortune is turning and there's an energetic possibility and opportunity for you to actually meet this destiny and generally with the star it's like well this is written for you but of course you have free will here on the earth plane so you need to decide you know, are you going to meet that destiny or not? And, you know, the difference between fate and destiny is I feel that fate is what we meet when we just sort of, you know, go with the flow and allow life to happen to us. We just take the opportunities that come our way. Whereas destiny is what we meet when we are the conscious creator. I've always wanted to work in that industry or I feel like it's time to change my job. I'm going to have a look. Then you find the thing, you know, and you apply for it, you get the job, the wheel of fortune turns. So that's how we can be the conscious creator and meet our destiny. The Queen of Pentacles is here. And I feel that in Capricorn season, which, which she's the minor arcana, which is late December through to late January, you are partnering with a new organization. I've got the King of Pentacles here. We have like a power dynamic. This could be, you know, if you're in an entrepreneurial activity, really stepping into that, making some bold moves. Like I said, you could be like shadowing the manager, like learning a new skill development, that type of thing. But it also feels that this move is quite specifically to increase your financial position. To maybe buy a home, buy real estate, invest, build a family these kind of goals is to set yourself up for longer term future sometimes we've got to pivot and embrace change to make that happen so you're being asked to stay focused grounded put a practical plan in place for this change and if you do i feel that in capricorn season you know you are in that new role you're moving towards it seven of wands in the outcome Yes, there is a lot to do when we want to go through this process. And yes, it, there can be competition and, and rivalry. But it feels like you've got the higher ground here. For some of you, I also think there could be a possibility where you've been in a position where you have to find new employment. And it wasn't by choice. You could have been caught off guard. But again, it feels like things will fall in your favor as I pull the six of wands with the ace of wands at the bottom of the deck so the six of wands is my card of you showing up uh, very confident very capable for recruitment process somebody who's standing out in their you know industry somebody who is a leader somebody who is embracing the ace of wands a passionate you know new potential an exciting new opportunity within which there is growth there is expansion and it can take you into the future you can really progress here it's important if you are seeking work opportunities to try and market your unique point of difference 
to set yourself apart from the crowd in whatever way you you know create your you know your covering letter your resume or how you actually present yourself that's going to have you stand out above the competition so we've got career change here we've got the wheel of fortune it wants to align you to a path of destiny you have free will but you're being asked to consider making this move there is a new fixed star for you to follow and I just feel in Capricorn season by the end of January 2024 you are in a new cycle here. One that can really set you up for the future and lead to quite a powerful progress and potential as well. So Libra I'm going to leave it there and I do hope you enjoyed this reading. Uh, if you wouldn't mind liking, sharing and subscribing if you did that would be amazing. If you'd like to book a personal reading or healing, please do follow the first link down below to my website and you can check out what I offer there. And don't forget to check out your 2024 yearly tarot reading. I do believe I'm putting the link on screen down here and you can jump into your reading and see what is in store for you next year. I'm just wishing you all the love and magic. Do take care. Bye for now.